Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Inner Money Stocks. Today is January 14, 2014. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts here. We're going to start off with the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures. And what you'll see here is that the futures are trading a little bit higher today by about $3.75 to around 1818 uh, 75 per contract. So either way you slice it or dice, a little bit of an uptick in the futures market ahead of the opening bell. Yesterday, uh, the S&P 500 was just trampled as well as the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the NASDAQ Composite. Uh, the Russell 2000 was also down very, very sharply yesterday. So um, markets really coming under pretty good pressure yesterday across the really across the board in a broad-based decline. Today, it's trying to rebound a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what we can make out of today's action. It might be a little bit more subdued. Generally, after a big uh, sell-off day, the next trading day is a little bit more on the quiet side. So we'll see how this plays out. Now, looking over across uh, the Asian market last night, you do want to take a look at the Nikkei 225 index. This was hit really, really hit hard yes, uh, last night, down over 3%. So this looks like it's destined to get down to around that 15,000 level. But uh, either way, you slice it or dice it right now, uh, pretty good decline uh, coming out of uh, the Nikkei 225 index. And don't forget, um, that has been one of the most important indexes that anybody can follow. Um, generally, when money comes out of the Nikkei 225, it tells us that the dollar yen chart is starting to roll over a little bit and I, I think we've um, started to see that a little bit here so uh, again uh, today you will have uh, some strength here in in the uh, dollar yen but look at that sell off yesterday and that's anytime that index anytime those that currency pair goes lower uh, watch the Nikkei 225 index roll over as well all right let's get back to um, to the S&P here and let's look at some other stocks in the news today. Um, one stock that we're going to look at today, keep an eye on, is going to be Wells Fargo. They reported earnings this morning. Um, looks like the stock's not doing all that much. It closed at $45.56. Yesterday, it's trading at $45.35. I have no idea what the company said or what they uh, claim that they made or anything like that. All I know is we care about the price action. We care about the charts. And right now, the charts are not telling us a lot with Wells, Far Wells Fargo um, basically trading just a, a few pennies lower than yesterday's close. Now, another leading financial and even a more important financial, in my opinion, the real Bank of America uh, is J.P. Morgan. Uh, J.P.M. reported earnings today as well. The stock now is trading at around $58. It closed at $57.70. So this is just another giant financial company uh, reporting earnings and um, really not getting much of a reaction. I'm not sure if the uh, Jamie Dimon earnings call has gone on yet uh, for J.P. Morgan, but I do believe it's about to start at 8.30 or 8.35 or something uh, along those lines. But um, we'll see how uh, how it's received. Usually, uh, Jamie Dimon puts on a pretty good earnings call, and even when something's bad, he can kind of glimpse over it and make light of it. So either way, um, we'll see what this market tells us. But right now, JPM is ticking up a little bit by about 30 cents or so. I don't really have a great level one way or the other. Um, a level where I would watch for a stock bounce on JP Morgan today, if it does sell off, would be at around the $55.35 level. I think that's where traders, day traders, can look for an, a nice intraday bounce. Unless that happens, there really is no play out here, at least right now. We'd have to watch for chart pattern developing um, along, along the course of the day. Right now, it, it's just too difficult to see it. Um, same goes for Wells Fargo. The only level... I would really get interested in Wells Fargo today would be around $43.75. That's where I would be a buyer for a scalp trade or a day trade, um, not a longer term trade, but uh, either way. So those are two levels you got, one for JP Morgan, one for Wells Fargo, if, if and should price trade down to those levels. Right now, um, these stocks are holding up fine. They're, they're really not in danger of getting down there, but you never know after the opening bell or after an earnings conference um, what can happen. Let's take a look at TWC, which is Time Warner Corporation. Looks like they turned down a bid. I think the third bid from Charter Communications for a takeover. Uh, right now, the stock's trading at 134.40. It closed at 132.40. Um, I think they're leaning more towards a $150 bid. So you never know that. That may be possible down the road. Um, but either way, be careful with this thing. Uh, if you own it, you just try your stop loss because they're still in a bidding war here. Um, maybe they could get a higher price 
and uh, that would benefit us as shareholders that own the stock. I don't own it personally, but um, you just try your stop loss because if Charter pulls the bid, um, the stock could go down, could be a victim of nobody wanting the company. So, uh, again, uh, I think that's how you have to view it, um, but play it safely. That's the only smart move you have out here in this type of market. Um, looking over just a, a few more things today, I believe earnings season is really going to start heating up. So, traders, make sure if you're swing trading anything, make sure you check for earnings. Um, this coming Friday is also going to be options expiration for the month of January. It's going to be the monthly expiration, so you want to be a little bit on guard that there will be a lot of game playing this week. There will be a lot of, uh, a lot of rumors uh, coming out uh, that are really, you know, not the truest of uh, not really true and that, that's what a rumor is actually you'll get a lot of false upgrades and downgrades so these institutions will try to shake up the market any way they see fit if they could make money on that options end of it um, always always be careful during the monthly options expiration it's a time of whipsaw and it's a time when you're gonna get a lot of game playing done by these uh, big institutions that you know know where the bets have been placed in the option market um, <clears throat> let's take a look at oil this morning and gold Right now, I'm seeing oil up about 33 cents, so oil is catching a little bit of a bid. Um, nothing great there. It's trading at $92.13. It looks like a barrel. Uh, right now, when I look at the USO, which is <clears throat> a good way of playing light sweet crude, right now, USO is a bit into some support, but there's really not a whole lot of strength out here. Uh, currently trading at 32.81. That's basically where it closed down yesterday, so I don't know if we can make all that much out of it. At least not yet, at least at the moment. Um, so be a little bit careful there with uh, the oil market. I'm not really seeing anything all that specific, uh, at least not yet. Uh, when we look at gold this morning, uh, gold has been pretty strong as of late. Uh, right now, gold is down about a dollar to around $1,250 an ounce. I'm not sure we're going to make too much out of it. If we take a look at the GLD, you'll see it's trading at 120.64. It closed at 120.102. So uh, I still think gold has a little bit more upside, maybe towards the 123 level on the GLD before it hits some short-term resistance. But anyway, you slice it or dice it, um, gold is still hanging in there pretty well, and I don't really see any problems. Remember, if the dollar-yen chart, this is this chart right here, okay, if this starts to go down, Gold is going to go up. That's the bottom line. Okay, just you're not going to hear this on CNBC. You're not going to hear it anywhere else. You're not going to hear it on Bloomberg. But that's just the way it works. Okay, this is what we call a very, very leveraged trade and um, a safety trade. And there's a lot of different uh, dynamics going on. But this is the relationship you want to know about. So if you're looking at gold, watch the dollar yen chart. Dollar yen goes down. Gold should go up, and that's that's how, what I'm seeing at the moment. All right, everybody. I'm going to leave it here, short and sweet. I hope everybody had a uh, a, a safe trading day yesterday. We'll see what today brings us, but today should be a little bit more of a subdued session. After you get a, um, a wide range bar, wide range uh, trading day like we had yesterday, generally the next trading day is a little bit more subdued. With that said, everybody have a great afternoon, great day, and we'll see you on the charts.